having to slow down a bit, there's boats everywhere out here. Out and about in the bustle of the main city on Tahiti, that's Papiete, that's the way I pronounce it anyway. And it's one of those places where you can start to buy things in the uh, Pacific area. If you come across the Pacific, you come here and it's like an Aladdin's cave. They even got some of the biggest coolers I've ever seen. And I'm out with my friends from the boat Zingaro. They're looking for some bits and pieces. So we had a good old shopping day. Look at this, nice. <laughs> Never had a house next to me before. Yeah, I thought it was going to be one of those sort of chillaxing days where you never know what's going to happen. A house suddenly floats by. That's the sort of thing that happens to you in a marina. Even though it's right next to the main road, it was time for me and the Shadmeister to unwind. Take it easy, take in some marina time. We both got a little bit further to go before we could actually stop for a proper rest. But this for now is going to be it. Uh, stop and fix a few things. Both the Shadmeister and myself were in need of that rest. I uh, needed an overhaul, a lick of paint and some love. Some of the staining was superficial, uh, the rest not. Still got problems with the engine. Again this morning it wouldn't start. And I'm hoping at least here there might be enough parts to fix it. I'll know soon. Indeed, there are things you can get here, but everything is super expensive, including the internet, which of course I need uh, to upload the video. So I've been doing some of that while I'm sitting here in the marina. Look who's just, look at this, people. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> hey guys! Whoa, so it's Matt and Christine from the boat Sugar Shack. How you doing guys? Awesome. Awesome. I haven't seen you for a year. It's been a long time. Barry. So what happened? Your boat got hit by lightning. That's right. Yeah, and you were trying to fix it for like a long time. We got stuck in Costa Rica for six months trying to get that thing back together. How did you manage that with all that paradise and parrots? And... A lot of painful uh, exercise with our we won't talk about that, but it's so good to see you guys again. Uh, impromptu interview with the guys from Sugar Shack. I love these guys. <laughs> love them to bits. Love them. And I just, I, oh, I miss you too. I miss you both. And I, I got a, look, the great boozing companions. And, and, and they're, oh, look, he's, he's here. Everybody, you love this guy. Easy Mike. <laughs> okay, that's enough. We're going to get drunk now. <laughs> Sorry about the bad quality of the sound on this clip, but to be honest with you, after this point, there wasn't anything worth listening to being said. <laughs> Been a few days now, still getting used to living uh, with traffic. There's a nice oyster, and there's a nice uh, rusty boat. I know it smells of traffic fumes a little bit and it's a bit noisy, but uh, living cheek by jowl with the uh, centre of the city is good for me because for the first time I can now get some spare parts that are badly needed for my baby over here. At this point I was doing a piece to camera uh, talking about maintenance and the problems of uh, doing stuff or not doing stuff because of lack of parts. Uh, but the sound quality is so bad. Now you might have noticed on some of the clips, uh, the sound isn't so good. That's because the microphone that I was using uh, was causing problems. And again, I couldn't replace it. But here in the marina, the earthing on the pontoons is so bad, I was getting a lot of electrical interference. I need paint, not available here. New anchor, not available. A depth sounder, not available. Parts of the engine and fuel system. Well, they were available, the fuel system. I got some uh, new fuel line, but engine parts, no. Uh, and the list goes on and on and on. Uh, parts for a lot of interior fittings, can't get them, not available. We are in the middle of the Pacific. All this will happen when I get to New Zealand. In the meantime, I'm gonna make do. You can see there the damage that was done in the storm that I was in a few uh, weeks ago, uh, where the wave broke through there and went down into the cockpit and down below. Again, I can't get the canvas work done, but I can get the stitching done. Uh, so I'm gonna take the bimini cover off and get it repaired. The whole thing needs replacing, but again, can't get that done here. 
Spare parts for both of the outboard engines. Can't get it here. New cover for the mainsail and a new mainsail. Can't get that here either. Believe me, I am the first person to be upset when I see my boat looking like this. It's not a pretty sight. There's rust and nasties everywhere. And I hate to see it, but I have nothing that I can get to deal with it. On the bright side, I did have enough stuff to fix my bicycle, so I've had that out. Been a long time since I rode that. Um, I think that was uh, last ridden in the Canary Islands. Also another success, replumbed the engine. It didn't work again. Didn't start the other day, so uh, I got all the bits I needed. Took out this stuff. Look at this. You on here, you have uh, one, two, three, at least three places you can take in air. I counted 18 places you can take air in on this system. It seemed that all the problems were around the lift pump. This is what I did. That, I think, is the problem. I've changed everything else, including uh, all the hoses. This is the sucking in bit, and that ran through lots of connectors and a series of filters. I counted 20 places it can leak, because when it leaks, it sucks, on, it'll do it on the sucky side. On the blow side, the positive pressure side, as it goes out, um, that, sh that it would be harder to have leaks because there's positive pressure in that all the time. Um, so I've now taken those 20 connections, I've only got one, and that goes straight to the fuel tank. So it can't leak, but it does. When the engine's not running, there's no pressure, it's sucking it in from some place, and I think it is all this stuff, the old connectors here. You can see if I move, there's a little glistening on that, there's a leak. And I can't stop it. I can't get replacement parts, so I'm going to put an entirely new system in. Got to get out of here. Got to get this damn engine fixed. And I need it to be reliable. It will run, but I don't know if it's going to start. Every time I turn it off, I don't know if it's going to start again. Making me sick with worry. Got to get it finished. I've got to be in New Zealand in two months. As usual, when there's work on board, there's a big old mess. Got it off, but it took forever. I'd had it off before when I did some maintenance, um, so I knew I could get it off. Well, eventually I did. You can see how those uh, holes are hidden around the back. But we have a problem, Houston. You see, this is the actuator arm that uh, uh, the, the cam kicks it over and pumps the pump. And on the new one here, look at the size difference. Yeah. Um, this is supposed to be a spare part replacement, okay? It's, it looks different. Uh, it is different. It actually goes this way around, I think. Um, but yeah, um, this, uh, <laughs> so it doesn't fit. Um, it might fit. Maybe you can put it in, but it, it, I can't get it to go in. And if it gets, if it's wrong, and that um, goes on the cam, and it's too big, and it breaks or something, and that goes in the bottom of the engine, I'm a big, big problem. So uh, no. So what I'm going to do is take the new unions and put them in the old pump. Hopefully that will um, solve the problem. Just a big ball of sweat again. It's nearly beer, beer o'clock, so I'm bringing the tools in. That's it. So yeah, I've made good progress. Got the engine going. As I said, it broke. I had to replumb it, but this time I've changed a few things, and I'm hoping that's going to be it now. I'll leave it a few days to see if it starts again. That's that's when I find out. Uh, yeah, and um, trying to upload. There is internet here, but it costs a fortune. This cost me sixty dollars to upload three videos, and and I've got two more to do. So, uh, but it's getting done. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Easy Mike's still around. I met up with my friends from um, Sugar Shack. That was nice to meet them again after a year. Their boat got hit by lightning, so I have nothing to complain about. But they had insurance, so they got it paid for. Um, but yeah, it's all good. What can I say? But I have a I have a huge huge, huge list of things I have to do here. The next day the tools are out again. This time had to get the bimini cover off. As I said, I got someone to uh, sew in my new window. He was going to do the stitching on it, so that had to come down. contacted a local company that works with canvas and asked them if they could stitch a new window in my bimini uh, the deal was that i would supply the plastic i'd already got this which i found in a dumpster back in panama 
so I carefully marked it out and cut out a new window. I thought it would take me some time to get used to living right in the middle of a city, but somehow the idea of just being there seemed to sit pretty well with me for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why that would be. I don't have to run down below anymore to use the uh, convenience. I've decided to install a toilet in the cockpit. In fact, there's bits of toilet there, bits of toilet in there, but I'm not going to show you those bits. And bits of toilet in these buckets over here. A big old maintenance schedule is underway at the moment while we're tied alongside. And a blocked toilet was one of the things that just had to get fixed. That's the view from the cockpit at the moment. Beautiful sunny day here in the marina uh, in Tahiti, in Papiete or Papiti, Papiete. Uh, this guy's got a huge boat. Look at that. That's beautiful. Finally got the toilet fixed, or the, the heads as they're correctly called on a boat or a ship. Last, a flushing toilet that actually works. Bliss. It still needs replacing and doing a lot of work to, but at least it's in the right place and not on the deck. One of the problems I had in crossing the Pacific a few months ago was communication. This radio up here is a short range VHF uh, marine band radio. No good for calling anybody further than 25 miles away. I do have a long range radio, it's this single sideband set in the cupboard. Haven't been able to use it yet because I hadn't got one of these. This complicated piece of kit is an aerial tuner and I need it to, to operate the high powered long range radio. It's a fancy piece of kit. I got it free because uh, they don't know if it was working or not and neither do I. I've wired it all up the way I think it should be. But hey, I'm just learning about this stuff. Next problem, I've got to thread all this cable through the boat. Then the unit, I think, will probably mount under the uh, solar panels there. These are a couple of aerials I've already got. Uh, and this is the new whip aerial which is going to be connected to the new radio. Uh, via the aerial tuner. All complicated stuff. Got to power running into the boat today. I don't normally plug in, but the batteries did need a bit of a boost, so I thought it was time we went back onto mains power. That's the box that controls it all. I've actually got everything charging off power sockets for a change instead of the batteries. Fans always running. It, it feels a bit like Panama down here. Of course, the summer's coming and it's getting hotter. I uh, got myself a new uh, laptop down here, second hand, uh, bought it off my friends from Iris. Uh, that's going to be the new Navcom. Um, getting it sort of twinned up with the AIS so I can see AIS targets uh, on OpenCPN. Uh, that's sort of techno talk for those of you who know. Um, but I've got to get it working yet. Uh, I still haven't managed to get it all paired up together. That's the connection. A bit Heath Robinson, but uh, it's all correct. It's like that because you can't get, as I said, all the bits that you need here. And then had a delivery. Turned out to be the Bimini with a brand new window in. Uh, I cut it out. The guy done a great job putting it in. There still needed to be some work done, but that will have to wait till later. At least the window was back. The sun is burning through the hatch and into the boat, sort of irradiating things as it does so and making it quite hot in here. So I'm going to put this up. So I've got my little system here, hook it down there and pull it up uh, from here. Tie it up there and it gets some wind in the boat. It's actually a four-way wind scoop. Uh, that, at the moment it's coming from that side. Uh, if the wind changes it'll go around that way and in four corners of the, uh, the hatch it'll, it'll take in air, which is brilliant. Nice piece of kit. Where'd you come from? <laughs> I'm looking for a cock I saw yesterday. Ah. What's up, Barry? Hey? 
Yeah, I do, we've just seen your head in the water. <laughs> yeah, thanks we're for not killing me. Well, we're using it as target practice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an evening dress on, look. <laughs> oh, the paparazzi are back again. You may remember this young lady from a few months ago in um, Pan Panama. Panama, yeah. Yep. Lovely Rachel, hello Rachel. Like was he on to go? We've got the whole crew here, look. Just have everybody, everybody's here. Yeah, so say hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. <laughs> and we're enjoying some good food and you're not here, so there you go. Cheers. Have a good day. Cheers. Manuya. 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 This, Manuya. This is Barry. This is Barry. He, he's an uh, old sea dog. Well, they, the old sea they dog. know that. Yeah. Oh, do they know that? Yeah. Just, okay, I, just, I thought it was a commercial Just because he co-hosted one episode, he's getting all cocky about it. <laughs> if you're just tuning in. <laughs> we got gate crashes. The crew from Zingaro just arrived. Guys. <laughs> yeah. Is this for your YouTube channel? Oh, it's for everything channel. Sweet, buddy. Yeah. I'm here to see Barry. Yeah. I just bought this boat. You owe me a dinner. <laughs> the boat Sugar Shack is famously known for their alcoholic jellos. Something I strongly approve of. Jesus, they're strong. Yeah. What? Is there, oh, I only feel a little bit of alcohol. <laughs> I love this little get together. It was a chance to see and meet up again with some of the people I really love that I've been with throughout the year. Hi. What is this stuff like? Yeah. I haven't got your number. Yeah. Yeah. I'll call you. Right there, I'll call you. Right. This is the shark. Right. James and Kim from the boat Zingaro are two of my favorite friends. So I was very sad to hear of the incident that happened just off the coast of Hawaii shortly after this film was made. Zingaro suffered severe damage in a storm. The boat is most probably a write-off. My love and best wishes go out to them both. I need to be in. <laughs> <laughs>